Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Wal Aqibatu Lil Muttaqeen, Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Sayyid Al Anbiya Wal Mursaleen, Wa Ala Alihi Al Tayyibin Al Tahirin, Wa Ashabi Ajma'in Ma Ba'd, Fa'udu Billahi Min Al Shaytan Al Rajim, Bismillah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Is it permissible to um, take injections whilst you are fasting? Simple answer, yes. It is permissible to take injections of any kind, be that intravascular, intramuscular, intra-articular during your joints, etc. This does not break your fast. Likewise, intravenous drips, they also don't break your fast. Why? We come back to the same rule which I've stated over and over again in the videos, that only if the aim, the original matter of food or medicine enters the stomach, note the aim, the original matter, not its effects, enter the stomach via the large holes of the body, in other words the mouth, the nose and the back passage, or directly into the stomach, it is only then that the fast will be broken. This is stated by all the classical fuqaha and all the classical texts of Usul Fiqh. Based on this, an injection delivers medication into the bloodstream, either directly into the bloodstream, or into the muscle, or into the joint, or wherever it's desired that it's to perform its function, either at the injection site or around the body through distribution via the bloodstream and the vascular system. It, via injections, medication does not enter the stomach. If anything does enter the stomach, it is actually not the original medication itself, it is not the aim, it is not the matter of the medication, but it is the effects of the medication, if at all. Therefore, according to the principle that we have stated that all the classical fuqaha have stated in their text, the use of injections does not break the fast, the original matter does not enter the stomach. Now some modern day scholars have ruled that injections, drips and so on actually do break the fast and the reason they have given is that injections or the use of drips this provides sustenance to the body or it provides energy or it benefits the body, energizes the body or the like. And on this basis they have said that injections break the fast. I would like to ask with utmost respect, these scholars are the crown of my head and I revere all of them, but I would like to ask these honorable scholars a um, simple question of fig, which is, does would swallowing a stone or swallowing smoke break the fast? The answer which Islamic law gives us is yes, it would break the fast. My second question would then is that if swallowing a stone or smoke breaks the fast, Stone and smoke does not provide any benefit to the body. It does not provide any sustenance, any energy, no benefit to the body whatsoever. Yet, swallowing a stone or smoke does invalidate and break the fast. So from here, we must understand and concede that benefit to the body or providing energy or sustenance to the body is not a reason which breaks the fast because if that was the reason then swallowing a stone or swallowing smoke would not break the fast it should be noted that this reason of sustenance and benefit to the body does not conform to the rulings of the classical scholars and texts who all state the principle that we've already mentioned that any matter which enters the stomach through the large holes will break the fast. As long as this principle is adopted, then injections cannot break the fast. 
in order to accept the ruling of these scholars who say that injections do break the fast, it would be necessary to reject the principle stated by the classical fuqaha, or to make it mansukh, to abrogate it, or to make an amendment to it. My question is, is there anyone in the modern age who can challenge this rule which has existed through 14, almost 15 centuries of Islamic history. For 1400 years, since certainly the time of Imam Azam, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, where this rule came about and the Fuqaha after adopted this, 14 centuries of Islam have adopted this rule. And if you are going to say that injections break the fast, then you would need to either amend, reject, or reject this law. And I don't think that there is anybody today who has the audacity to do that. That is my humble statement. I'm not saying this as a challenge. I'm not saying this as uh, in, in any kind of um, arrogance. I am simply stating the laws of the books which we have been taught and I suppose it's a question of perspective and where you look at things from. Finally, can we give blood? Are we allowed to give blood tests during uh, fasting? Again, the answer is yes. Why? Because again, when you are giving a blood test, you are taking blood out of the body. You are not put putting anything in the body. And on that basis, again, um, taking blood to give blood tests does not break the fast and therefore is completely permissible whilst you are fasting. Well, I could not want to, and alhamdulillah, I hope you know what I mean.